This demo shows how to do thread safe analysis with Kix Tools and Kix Explorer. Starting from the Kix Explorer welcome screen, we can go directly to the workbench by clicking on that icon, and we are in the Kix SM perspective. To do some performance analysis, we go over to the resource perspective, and there I've got some performance analysis data in my PA project. This is stored on a DB2 database and I've got a data source defined and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the time frame between 10.25 and 10.40 when I was doing some pre-thread safe analysis on the transaction called mail. This thread safe view is sorted by TCB switches and also shows the amount of CPU time occupied by the different TCBs. When I right click on a particular sample I get this menu like view which allows me to see thread safe detail, CPU time detail and other sorts of detail as you can see. The pie chart on the right indicates that I'm spending 51% of the time on the single Kix QR TCB and 49% of the time on the L8 TCB. Another right click gives me access to interdependency data provided by Kix Interdependency Analyzer. In this users view I can see all of the Kix and non-Kix resources like MQQs used by this transaction. The right hand side of the view shows the application programs which are invoked by the mail transaction as an aggregate view, but if I want to see a more detailed view I need to use the command flow which is a special option of Kix Interdependency Analyzer which tracks the specific exact flow of a Kix transaction. Um, now instead of seeing an aggregate view for every run of the transaction mail I can see a specific view relating to one particular instance and this command flow view shows the TCB modes used and the different kicks and MQ commands which use them. In that case that was the QR TCB. Now I can see the commands which are run on the L8 TCB by and large MQ commands. This next pane enables me to see the task switches or TCB switches between the QR and the L8 TCB or in this case between the L8 and the QR TCB so I can see those commands which are actually initiating the switching. From what I've seen there's nothing in the mail transaction which would suggest that it can't run thread safe. There's no exec kicks address CWA or acquisition of shared get main. So what I'm going to do is I'm in now the SM perspective. I've located the test transaction which underlies the mail transaction, the test program which underlies the mail transaction and I'm going to set it to be thread safe. I save that thread safe entry and then I install it into the region. It's really quite as easy as that. When I refresh that I would see that the installed version is now thread safe. Going back to the resource view and looking at a different data period from 10.45 to 11 o'clock when I was running tests against the mail transaction in thread safe mode you can see that the number of TCB switches is significantly reduced from 46 or so down to 18 on average per transaction. By dragging and dropping the the panes around a view I'm able to see multiple views at the same time in this case the before and after views before and after thread safe you can see that what I've done is I've moved quite a bit of work about 8% of work from the QR TCB to the L8 TCB all in all a successful thread safe analysis with Kix IA, Kix PA and Kix Explorer